ladies and gentlemen they finally did it i can't believe this after literally months and months and months and months of just absolute stale modes in this game they finally added an event that's actually really really good and entertaining and i'll be honest with you i i was so tired of these events that i ignored this for the longest and then for some reason the other night i decided let me just kind of take a peek at what to see what it's like and i realized what i thought the event actually was was a completely different thing the fusion versus synchro versus exceed event in master duel is actually really really good for some reason i actually thought it was gonna be one of those weird things where you you build three decks and it matches you against the opposite event every single time and i was like i'm not building three decks but anyways nevertheless i was wrong this is great konami please for the love of god do more stuff like this because this is so much fun and on top of that they banned all the problem cards for starters my least favorite thing about these events is whenever they do anything anything cool people just figure out a way to be annoying so for example in the last like 10 events it just turns into a labyrinth simulator they banned all the labyrinth card welcome labyrinth gone big welcome gone all the annoying cards are gone. Like, look at this. All the barrier statues are gone. Lava Golem gone. Fossil Dino's gone. They actually want you to play this event. I feel like they went a little too OD because they also banned uh, Ecclesia, which people use to play with like Dogmatica Punch and stuff like that. I feel like you could just ban Dogmatica Punishment. Ecclesia's fine, but they're hitting all the annoying stuff, which is exactly what they should do. Good Lord, they finally listen. Like, I just realized M Pen is dead too. Konami, thank you! This is exactly what I want to see in the future for different modes and events in the game. Whenever you actually do something like Fusion versus Synchro versus Exceed, it actually requires the opponent to play that. I love that. Because again, what people tend to do in these events just to farm up the gems, they just play annoying floods. They play stun decks, they play Labyrinth, they play Fossil Dyna, just to be annoying. And you know, you, you'll get your stuff because we'll just leave going to the next duel because there's no reason to stay at that point. I love that they're actually addressing the issue and making you have to be creative and play fun decks to actually participate. And before I start in the comment section below, let me know which team you're on between Fusion, Sync, or Exceed. And even if you're not playing, I guess, let me know what you would be playing in this case between Fusion, Sync, and Exceed. In the future, I wonder what else they can do. Would you just do like Fusion versus Link versus Sync versus Exceed? Like, I, I, find, I find it surprising that Link was completely left out, but they even probably know that Link is probably like too broken when it comes down to it. it makes you wonder in the future if they're just gonna do something like Link versus Pendulum or something like that, but ain't nobody gonna be playing Pendulum. That's just gonna be a glorified, uh, link event at that point hey, you guys already know me i mean you can see it on the screen my favorite mechanic of all time is fusion i grew up with og Yu-Gi-Oh. fusion is just has a special place in my heart and we are going to be normal summoning alistair response but, but before we start i do have a quick question konami why did you have to complete your nerfy man bro why why is everything at one bro fallen albaz at one I, the, uh, brain of fusion is already at one why is everything at one in this deck man <laughs> Hey, at least Barone's banned. Oh wait, no, no, she's not. Barone's of allowed in single decks. Why did fusions get nerfed so hard, man? Hey, it is what it is. We're gonna hop in and we're gonna have fun. All right, let's see what we got. So far, like I said, I've been having a lot of fun with this. I've been literally playing since like eight in the morning. I'm not even kidding. I had to like, I, I was getting coffee this morning and I was at the coffee place for like three hours playing until my phone died. I went back home, charged my phone and what was charging, I kept playing. All right, let's see what we got. I, lo I, I lose a point also. I lost a point also. It's a decent hand. On Elbaz, I never want to see. Whoa, what a bright hand. Woo. Need sunglasses for that. We're going to go ahead and veil our dad, actually. Because the way I think this works is this is going to be negated. If they attribute this, this won't work. They're definitely playing Cash Tira. I wonder if they know that. I wonder if they know that this won't work the way they think it's going to work. You have cross out. It doesn't matter because if I banish my own card, it's just... Is, is still gonna activate damn oh man uh i don't think we can play through this damn okay do we stay let's see now this is full combo what's funny about about cash tira cash tira in exceed side is also super hit in this unicorn fenrir all at one pressure plan was already at one so this deck is heavy brick bricky it's like everyone is playing cash tira in this they're playing one unicorn, one Fenrir, and then they're playing like three copies of Ogre and like two or three copies of um, Scareclaw. Ah, oh, this sucks. I don't think I can stop this because we don't get Eosis with this. Yeah. If they have birth, I'm leaving. If they have birth at that point, they got it. It's Theosis, fair, fine. Theosis, well, no, you can still go. You can still go into um into a Rise Heart off of this. Now, Rise Heart is one I would have definitely put to one in this event. I feel like three is a bit OD. I'm only I'm only saying that just because of how they nerfed um my deck. But the question is, do I want to? No, there's no point. 
Now suddenly saw magicians just doing nothing in my hand. Oh, wait a minute. They're they're going full combo here. Okay. I have an idea actually. I have a great idea. I have a great idea. I have, I have a fantastic idea. My brain is actually working. We just won. We just won. Unless I lose. I'm sorry. I'm happy that that got hit. Cause woo! what do you think about pendulum player? All right. So I need to bait out in rear. That's what I need to do. That's the first thing I got to do. Very first thing I got to do. Add Fenrir. You did add Fenrir. Okay. So if I can draw Imperm, the idea is I summon Fallen Albaz and I just steal their uh, Arias Heart and make Mirror Jade. But the problem is, is Fenrir, that, that's Big Bang. So I'm not worried about that. Fenrir definitely screws me. Imperm, 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 Imperm. Imperm! Not good. So I have an idea. I have an idea I can do. So what? I'm going to do this right now. I'm only doing this. I'm going to get a material here. No, because then they'll get three still. And they'll, they'll get three still. Get banished. I don't think I can play through this. I need to draw Imperm here. Because if I Imperm uh, that, yeah, and then you're going to get a piece here. Um, the Fenrir hurts. You get the pop. I forgot you get the pop. Yeah, I'm not. I think they got it. They definitely got it here. Yeah. Can't wait to that. And then you're also gonna get two parts. Yeah, they got it. They got. They got that one. I need. I ha I have to draw Imperm. I have to draw Imperm. Like, look at this. Well, I mean, all they really hit was. Oh wait. No, no. So birth. Why do you? Why do you only have one copy of birth? Zodiacs? Nah, man. Fusions. The fusion side is so heavily nerfed, man. Fusion side is so heavily nerfed. All right. It's Yu-Gi-Oh. You win some, you lose some. I can definitely play through a rise heart usually, but not in that situation. This hand is just awful. Wow. Um. Okay. Yeah. No. That's 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 a hand. That is a hand and a half. Now, what are you playing? Is Duster legal? Surely Duster's not legal. That would be funny though if Duster just hits the field frame one. Oh, Sword Soul, okay. I can deal with Sword Soul. But it is annoying. So I have to what I have to do here is I have to Valor Moye, hundred percent. They have Moye in their hand. We are one thousand percent hitting this. It is unfortunate though that I open so ass. We're getting like all the big boss cards right now. I just realized that's definitely blackout. That is 100% blackout. Um, we're not gonna activate that not yet. Please let me get something good. That's not good. Wait, yes it is. What am I talking about? This makes Lubelli. Problem is, if I summon, nah, I can't. I can't do that because uh, I would go into Lubellion basically. And Lebellion would I, like I would have no hands. I wouldn't be able to activate the effect afterwards, right? Yeah, one dark and fall. Yeah, that, that, that's that, that sucks. Before you're like, well, why don't you summon Dru Bestial Druid Swarm first and then activate Invocation? Because uh, Invocation is like polymerization in your hand. If the cards are on the field, that's for the Invoke monsters. That's why it doesn't work that way. I really need Alice. That I mean, this handle is not that great. Unfortunately, but whatever. All right, I'm just gonna go into this. What can I? I mean, I still have responses, and I can drop Invocation next turn for... I think I'm going to activate Blackout. I can drop Invocation with Super Polymerization, but I have to do that. Yeah, just Blackout. I I mean, you do get to pop two cards. Uh, Sure, man. There was a wor world where I was thinking about activating um, Cross Out just in case. I don't want to draw it. Like, maybe on, on Ash or something. But I'll be honest, if my next card literally is Ash Blossom, we're just going to move on. All right, so I know they have a Moye in their hand. But you need a uh, Worm card first, right? Is that how that works? You have to, you have to reveal a soul. You get to do that, okay? I don't think we can win with this hand. That is not a good hand. You do that. You get a token out. I get to make... Okay, Ashuna. That's great. I do this, but this doesn't do anything for me. I have to drop invocation here. Uh, 
You know what? I want to stand this up in attack mode because I want them to kill it. I want them to think that I did this by accident. They have a Shun on their hand and they have a Moye. And you can't activate the second Moye, right? Because you already did it. So... I think we're still good. Their Chaos Max is roaring over there. Is it because they left? Why is he so upset? Why is he throwing a tantrum? Does anyone know? There's nothing scarier than an angry Chaos Max. Why is bro angry? Why, why is he perturbed? <sighs> Yo, rage quitting in an event is hilarious. I'm, I'm gonna assume that Buddy is just going through a tunnel. They're playing on a commute to work or something, and they're going through a tunnel right now. There's no way. Why are you rage quitting in an event? Oh, they surrendered. Okay, I was about to say. Did they surrender? Can't tell if they surrendered or what. All right, let's see what happens now. What are we looking like? I got to go first, which is great. Why is it every time I get to go first, I always only open up with the Bestial Engine, which I only have like three copies of in the deck. <laughs> I have three Lobelians and then like uh, Magnamut. Magnamut. Serenir and um, who was it? Uh, Drew Swarm, but it's like, why? Why is it always that order? Let's go ahead and send that away. We'll grab, uh, I guess, Aeronir. Um, uh, do I, do? I don't. I don't really get to do this. We'll just do this. Just send this away for now. I'll just use Serenir for next turn. Activate. What are they playing? They have 14 cards, 42 cards. So at, those actually two cards have to be important. Um, activate this, and we'll grab Drew Swarm. We have interruptions at least. We got some good ones too. Call but a grave, super poly. That should get us there. Unless of course they're playing like uh, cashier or something. That would hurt because everything is a different attribute, so I can't super poly stuff away. But let's see what happens. I assume they're playing um, galaxy eyes. They got the sleeves. They are playing galaxy eyes. Okay, I can play through this 100 percent, 1,000 percent. You know what's funny? You sent a uh, galaxy soldier away. So if I if I call by the grave just theoretically, you don't get to summon that card. See, you probably shouldn't have sent that card away. Unless the rest of the hand is just absolutely insane and you have to do it that way. But that's that now that that is a crazy brick. So you have four cards left. Bro, my guy. My guy. My I promise you I had the craziest back and forth duels all day. <laughs> Why am I? Why am I dueling idiots now? Bro! Bro. What happened? How do we how do we get here? How do we let this happen? I'm I'm banishing your galaxy soldier away. Now, there, now there's two that are gone. How do we allow this to happen? Uh I'm gonna go into attack mode. Ooh, that animation is so cool. Activate Serenir. And we'll send uh, I'll send Regained away. Because then I can grab both. Make sure I do the right one this time. That's so crazy. Because what I can do is, is I can do Beast. Get Beast up here. Should I be smart about this, actually? Be smart about this. Because I feel like this person is a tough person to will load up with Mirror Force. This is probably Imperm. This is likely Imperm. I, I, I have a gut feeling that this is Imperm. That's why they put it here. But then again, my opponent also probably isn't playing around Imperm. Considering they activated Galaxy Soldier twice. It, you, all right, um, now I guess we'll just summon you. Go. Attack mode. And this just wins us the duel next turn. This goes through. It's not Imperm. It's probably a Galaxy Soldier card or it's bait. Uh, and then we pass. Beast activates. See, this is what's crazy. Is Beast in this setup is so nasty. Because I send Drew Swarm away with Beast. I get to pop a card and send something away at the end. Like, that's actually insane. That's nuts. So what do you do now? He really wants that Galaxy Soldier to activate. My guy is determined. He's like, I'm gonna get this card to work today. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Get Magma on the field. You know what's sad? I forgot that we have uh, Super Poly on the field still. And it's kind of hilarious to me because I, even if this is Imperm, they can't respond. I flip it actually. But what will you do? A okay, Galaxy Summoner. We are going to make a nice. Um. Want, do I even want a Super Poly? I feel like I, I don't need to, but I kind of want to. I kind of want to, to be honest. Branded Beast. Let's send Drew Swarm away. Do this, and then Drew Swarm activate. This is why this combo is nuts because you just like cool. I guess I have. Uh, I guess I get nothing here. Galaxy Trans. Bro, you're spending life points you don't have. You're spending life points that you don't have. Where's the back and forth, man? I feel like I got sent back to Silver Rank the second I turned that camera on. 
Uh, let's grab. Would it be dirty if I take their cards? Yeah, let's do it. I'm gonna make. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna beat them with Mirror Jade. <gasps> they do. Wow. I was gonna win regardless here. Activate. Activate. Send that away. I'm going to make a Albion. And Albion is going to go into Mirror Jade. We gotta get the Mirror Jade animation. Mirror Jade is one of the coolest fusion monster ever released. And it's not even close. Comment section below. What is the coolest uh, fusion monster specifically ever released? I like look at the design of this of, of this guy. Amazing. It's so cool. Sure, man. Uh, let's just send that back. And uh, you know what? Just in case, I I want to know. I'm I'm just curious to know what is this card. I want to have nothing end of the day. What is this card? I, I don't know what that is. I'm not reading that. Mirror Jade, finish the duel, bro. <laughs> I would love to see an event where they do something like you choose like a series, like dual monster versus GX versus like five Ds, and they have only certain cards available in that. Cut out all the bullshit. Give me more of that. Comment section below. Give me like your dream, I guess, ideals that that, that you want to see in future events. Like, I'm just curious. See what, what you, where you guys stand with that. All right, so uh, we're going to activate uh, magma. Go ahead and banish you, unfortunately, but you're gonna come back here in a second. And we get to play our newly unbanned um, Thunder Dragon, Colossus. Uh, activate this, go bring you back. Back in. Now the thing is, this is not a great field because I, this is why I'm not a big fan of running like too many non-engines. Like, cross out, because that one card could have been Meltdown. That card could have been Brain Diffusion. It could have been Alice. It could have been anything. But instead, we, we got that, which is great. I guess I'll set this and. Ah. Yeah, activate this. We'll get Druid Swarm. Honestly, I'm, I feel like I'm better off grabbing. I'll grab this, actually, for next turn. You gotta have a follow up. But yeah, let me know, like, Dream event ideas you want to see in the future like i'm trying to think like an, an anime only thing which i know not everyone's gonna like but i mean like let, let's be real we're all tired of seeing the same four decks in the game the same four play styles the same four extra deck monsters at least by doing stuff like this you force the players to you can always play you know a, a loner deck number one but you force the people of this game to actually be creative and play differently as opposed to the same you know four ways that you normally play i love that i love that so much about this event this this event is a hit a thousand percent is a hit and they're gone dinosaurs oh dude dinosaurs are are so funny to me because they either activate this card and they get to do full combo and you just get to sit there and watch and do nothing about this or they don't get this and then they just lose you know what i'm gonna say it i'm happy colossus stopped you from playing yo is an interesting game is all like what is what i like to say can i even speak all right we actually got some good stuff here this is a great hand by the way i think what i want to do is, is i want to bait out my opponent's uh ash blossom here oh, ash I, I, I love that great activate this grab Alistair do you have an imperm do you have impermanence no impermanence okay so I like to splash um style magician in here to play my favorite card now we get to do do I want to do it this way though I think I do I'm gonna banish both of these because now we'll get a spell negate although I could just do this no, I'd rather just do these two because otherwise, yeah, I have to do these two. Attack mode. I'm pretty sure Lightning Storm is probably at one in this. Let me do this, bring this back. My hand. Oh, Magician is such a cool card, man. Comment section below. What's another favorite card that you guys just have to play in every single deck? Let me know. Cannot wait for the QCR of this is coming out in Rarity Collection too. Play a spell. I dare you. I don't know where this is going to go into. Do I want to do this? I'm going to do this because I don't know what that does. We're in a territory now where I don't know what they're playing. So I'm worried. When in main phase, if you have a reptile monster, your opponent's attack becomes zero. Why does that matter? Why, why do I care about this? Oh, I see why. Oh, but they can just do it straight up. I was going to say, because I can just do uh, Magna Mutt, but I can't do that as a response. That's fine. Now I can. Do I do Magna Mutt and get rid of this uh, card right here? And put this in defense mode. There you go. Honestly, I could be annoyed. 
I could be annoying by not activating my old Magnemon's ability. Yeah, that's great. That's just fantastic. What does that do? You just put all my stuff to zero? That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and just do this because you have a tuner and I don't want you to tune here. I, I, I want you to tune out of this duel. That's what I want you to do. I could just do this. I'm going to do this. Yeah. I'm going to do this. But this is another negate I can do. They have three cards left. Surely, surely they're done with their combos, right? No, they're not done with their combos. Did I want to add a... I can add it now, technically, I guess. Yeah, that's a no for me, dog. That's a big no for me, dog. Guys, remember when I uh, summoned Magnemut and didn't activate the ability? Not a rhyme style video without that. God, I wish I added level 8, because that would be so funny. That's it? I thought you were going to do something cool. They did not. Did we just win here? Remember when I activated Magnemut and didn't get the ability? <sighs> activate. 2700. Honestly, between Ash Blossom and Dracula Stapalia, I don't think they can play through this. They have something that they can summon and just like ruin me. They could technically. They'll have zero attack. No, they're just gonna leave. All right. And I'm gonna say it, even though Fusion is super nerfed in this event, everything still feels fair. That makes sense. That's a great hand. Well, no, no, it's not. No, it's not because I have to end bec because I can't play. Um, Artemis? Yeah, that's not happening, bro. Because I can't play Artemis, I just... I have to either open up with, like, Baylor or Solid Magician, which is why I have two in the deck. Um, so I have to basically make Kaliga here and end my turn at that. That's all I can do, unfortunately. But actually, you know what? I don't even have to do that. I can technically make... No, that wouldn't do anything. Purgatrio doesn't do anything here. Yeah, I think what I'll do is I'll just end it on... Activate... Well, I love it! I love it! I love it! I love it! You're an idiot. Anyways, invocation. We're gonna activate invocation. And you know what's great? When I do this, Serenir gets sent to the graveyard. Because the way invocation works is if it's in the hand, it goes to the graveyard. If it's on the field, it gets banished. My one effect for a turn is gonna be Serenir sending. Ooh, you know what? No, no, no. We're gonna send. We're gonna send you for next turn. And we do this. Chillin'. My hand is very shiny, by the way. Put this back into my hand, and now we just pass. Why are you playing Droll in this event? I feel like you don't have to play all the annoying sweaty cards. And I wouldn't even call it Droll sweaty, to be honest. But I just feel like you don't really need Droll inside this. You're probably a, a pearly player. I, I sense it. I sense it. Are they a pearly player? Speed droids. I don't know what this deck does. I say this every time I come across speed droids, which is hilarious to me. You are an Exceed deck, I assume. X Sabers. Uh, that kind of sucks. I'm not dead here, right? Like surely, right? I'm not. I'm not. I don't. I don't, I don't explode. Zodiac. Right. 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 Duh. I should have known. The second I saw Earth, I should have known where this is going. All right. Um. Good news is, if I make Bruce Worm, that's my out to Zeus. So if this is going to end on Zeus, I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. What are you thinking about? There we go. I like how earlier I was saying, uh, I, I like when they do events where you have to play differently and think differently. And then you still kind of see technically the same stuff. And it's the variety is what I'm in. Never mind. I, I don't know where they're going with this. This is new, isn't it? This is the new card that came out recently. Different. Oh. All anti beast deals right here. Uh, okay, so they're not gonna end in Zeus. I don't think they want to do that. They could. Yeah, I now I'm in territory where I'm like, I have no idea what's happening. I'm trying to like keep up and read everything. Am I dead? I might be dead. This this deck kind of seems insane, actually. Now that I think about it, does Druid Swarm save me here? I feel like it doesn't. Right in. Pop a card. Yep. Pretty no. They're doing it too. <gasps> My Cali. Go. Uh, why that one? Oh, that's why. Bro, are they just trying to murder me? I'm not dead. Oh, I'm still watching. <laughs> the interesting thing is, I feel like if I happen to top deck Super Poly off of this, I don't. I just absolutely just win. They're doing a lot here. Guidance back, but like what is trying to get the pop? 
Is this maybe it's pure zodiacs? Maybe they don't have Zeus in here at all, and I'm just like you know, overthinking it. Uh, funny. I think exceeds were the least popular in this event so far. Yet they are the most full power. They can do whatever they want, to be honest. Sure, man. Because I'm still alive. Let's attack again. If I activate Druid Swarm, it doesn't do anything. Negated. They can also make Zeus. If they make Zeus on top of that, we'll probably just leave. Yeah. Okay. I, I, ne I need to draw into Super Poly if I want to have any chance here. Or we'll just get nothing. Great. I love that for me. You get an effect. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna just activate this. Let's see what happens. If this is called by, I'm I'm, I'm I'm completely out. I'm completely out. Not called by. Magnumut. Perfect. I am going to Magnumut. Something they own away. Never mind. They have nothing. Uh, we'll send away. I guess. What will you do? Will you negate that? I'm not negating that. Interesting. Activate. Is that imperm? Beautiful. Beautiful. Love that for me. Love that for me. Through swim. Let's send. Um... Here's what we're going to do. What is that? Or what? Where, where is this going to? I forgot that they grabbed that. A Borbo. Uh, that's fine. I don't care about that, to be honest. So what I have to do here is I have to I have to bait out the zoos. Do I have a light, actually? I do have a light. Here's what we're going to do. What does that do? Bro, I'm not reading all that. <sighs> yeah, no, nah, that's great. That's fantastic. Oh, I, I, th this is great. You know? Love that. All right. So what I have to do now, uh, this is so much, bro. Do I just assume Purgatrio has the math? Let's assume that Purgatrio has the math. Let's assume that Purgatrio has the math here. Do you have the math? You have the math. You, ha you you're gonna have to Zeus here, man. You're gonna have to Zeus here. You're not Zeusing here. It'll be hilarious if they don't read my card. Let's see what happens here. Cause like they they have to get rid of everything too. Do they get follow up after this? Let's see what happens here. Why are you sending everything, bro? Forgot that Zeus also stays. <laughs> I have exactly 3,000. No! <laughs> hey, if they were confident, they would have lost. Because I would have used both the Alice's in my hand, super boosted myself, and cleared the entire board. On top of that, it does piercing. We would have won. They have to do that. All right, let's see what we got. What are we dealing with? What's my hand looking like? That's a great hand. I mean, I also lose to uh, my opponent's confidence. <laughs> what happened? All righty. How's the hand looking? Good. It's actually very good. Actually, this hand is insane. So, I think I want to bait out the Ash Blossom with this. Because I want Meltdown to actually solve. Okay. And then what happens if you were to theoretically... Banish Lubelli in a way. And summon a Magnum in attack mode. You have Imperm. Perhaps? They have something. They have something. They have something. So they have Imperm. Inactivated though. That sucks. Alright. The question though is, is will they let me Alistair? Will they let me Alistair? Well, here's the thing. If they if they uh, hit Alistair, they lose. They absolutely lose. They 100% lose if they if they hit this. Actually, no. It's just, it's just uh, that. Okay, that's cool. That's fine. That's, that's perfectly okay. Um... Actually, wait a minute. I'm activate this actually. We're gonna dodge. We'll, we'll drop this. We are going to dodge and make. Um, I guess Kalaga is the only thing, right? Yeah. Let's make Kalaga just to be safe. The reason why I did that is because now their Veiler doesn't do anything. I still get uh, invocation in my hand. We activate Corridor, and this is the part where they will just leave. Unless their hand, their hand's not lighting up, so they don't have Imperm. So they're hoping to draw Imperm here. That, that, this right here, freshly on band from the TCG list. And now we just... What are we making here? By, uh... Nothing, right? I can make... Oh, Raijin! Raijin, 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 Raijin. We're playing Raijin, finally. Two Mechaba. Two Mechaba. Thank you for giving me the Veiler, by the way. All right, so we get one Negate and a Banish. 
And they have one effect. This is actually a really hard field to play against. But they haven't left it, so they, they're clearly confident. So, let's see what happens. Here we go. Ooh, I forgot also get this. It's a long. Um, I guess we'll do that. So off chance that they do kill my Kalaga, we can just do Druid Swarm as well. What happens here? You have five cards. What is the keys to success? When an opponent doesn't leave, when the field is like this, it's, it, that's where you know it's like... That's not the correct answer, by the way. That's not the correct answer. Ooh. See, this is what they think is going to happen. And they're going to summon Fall and Alabaster, and it's going to do nothing. They have no idea. Or it's going to be Moye, and it's still going to do nothing. Spend two seconds to read the one line, two lines actually, on Caliga. I, I, I don't know what they're going to do. I, I'm, I'm pretty comp. Yeah, it's Moye. And look at that. It does nothing. Shocker. Why is my effect not activating? I guess I'm done here, they think. Let's go ahead and activate Druid Swarm. Let's go ahead and banish their card. Get that out of there. All right. So this definitely is going to be blackout. It's still very good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to out myself right now. Activate this. Yeah, this is definitely blackout. So we're going to force their hand here. Yeah, I'm going to keep it real with you. I don't care. I, I, I do not care. <laughs> because I have luck on my side. Watch my act this invocation has a second effect. Makes my opponent scoop. What will you do? Send that away. That. So if this is indeed blackout, they have to flip it now because they'll need blackout for. Um, it's not. Okay. What happened? What, what, what was it? I need to know what it was. <sighs> the event's great, by the way. But you know what? They couldn't respond because melt was meltdown on the field. Oh no, meltdown was on the field, was it? I don't remember. The meltdowns on the field, they can't respond uh, with how it works. I don't remember meltdowns on the field. Not. Even though this happened two seconds ago. <laughs> it, it was either that or was just some kind of weird bait. But you know what? I'm ending right here. Comment section below. Let me know your thoughts on the event. Um, what deck you're playing. What team are you on. And ideas for future events that they can have in this game. Because like I said, I love everything about this. In fact, the second I hit end record, I'm going to spend the next couple hours still playing. I'm not even touching ranked for the rest of the month. I'm done. I'm only going to be playing this because this is a lot of fun. It's a breath of fresh air and I'm going to enjoy it. And you know what? When I'm done playing fusions, I'm going to switch to exceed and, and then do that. I'm not going to play synchros because uh, I don't have the patience to even you know, play solitaire myself, but I have that as an option if I wanted to. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the comments next week. I stuttered. The video is just going to end like that now.